Hello and welcome to the M0 OGY review of the new Magnum 1 10 and 12 meter amateur radio transceiver. This new radio follows on uh, from classic radios marketed by RF Limited in the USA such as the Magnum Delta Force, the S9, the Amiga Force and the 257 so it's got some quite large boots to fill. Uh, look at a few specs now in standard range supplied it operates between 24 890 and 24 990 megahertz on the 12 meter band 28.000 to 29.700 megahertz on the 10 meter band and it can be configured in uh, three different ways uh, which uh, I'll uh, let you know a little later but um, it can operate then between 24500 and 29.999 megahertz but I'll add a disclaimer obviously it's not legal to use uh, out of band and uh, you do so at your own risk but I'm sure CB Radio Tricks there's information on there as most other products how to do so right moving along uh, what comes with the radio well, that's the packaging behind it there's the main uh, unit which uh, you're looking at now you've got a microphone which uh, is okay it's average build quality um, it's got up and down channel keys, frequency keys and an auto squelch button on it it's six pin input there's the main unit you've got um, a plated bracket you've got handbook, the handbook is uh, just uh, in English only and uh, it goes into quite some good depth into how to use the menus on the radio uh, warranty card, a bag of uh, fasteners and fixings with a black powder coated mic clip and there's also a heavy duty power lead with a spare fuse looking at the uh, front fascia of the radio it does uh, look uh, extremely familiar to most as uh, some of the uh, uses the same fascia and chassis I'm sure as uh, the, the Maxlog products uh, the radio is made in China and in, further on in the video I will look at the uh, PCB I've been uh, told it is a, a new latest version so I'll have a look at that a little later on just have a look at the front fascia there's a function key mode key there's all sorts of um, features in the menus you've got timeout functions and you can alter the time on those you've got below it a talk back facility you can alter the volume etc on that if you hold, uh, hold the button in for a longer period you can turn the, the, the display off scan facility moving down got a volume and squelch it's got auto squelch also you've got uh, echo twin pot not that you really need that on amateur radio but it's got echo facility um, you've got a, a, another twin pot next to it you've got RF gain and variable power output on the front panel <coughs> it's got a channel uh, selection in the middle which uh, seems quite tight no bad clicks or anything moving along you've uh, your uh, band selection which uh, is uh, lettered A to F mode selection which is PA CW AM FM upper and lower sideband we've got uh, clarifier clarifier control 
which you can uh, press press it you can press it in and it it, it uh, moves the span across you can alter the various digits above it you've got uh, plus 10 kcs and a high cut filter Roger beep variable Roger beeps um, and you've got uh, the key beeps you can turn off which is a must got a noise blanker and uh, an easy access for the uh, mic gain in the menus on the front panel that's basically the front panel it is uh, menu driven so you go into the menus it's it's fairly straightforward how you do that you know there's all sorts of menus in it again the handbook explains further what does what and how you go through them I will show you probably in the, the next video exactly what does what so that's uh, a quick look at the front panel of the Magnum 1 does add, have a, a green display on the fascia a little like uh, the old uh, night watch features on other radios uh, so all the front fascia does light up at a, a night if you're using it mobile so that's uh, a look at the front chrome fascia which is uh, quite nice so right on the next part of the video I'll have a look at the uh, rear panel and see what's on there right this is a rear panel you've got a cast aluminium heat sink serial number an SO239 antenna coupler power socket CW key input and finally a 3.5 millimeter external speaker socket so that's the uh, rear panel On the next part of the video I'll take a look inside and look at the PCB looking inside the Magnum 1 at the circuit board firstly it's an 8800 version 09 20th of the 3rd 2015 so that's the type of board inside the uh, radio looking around it it's all surface mount technology looks well made I've looked on the other side of the board and the soldering is extremely good the outputs, the MOSFETs are the RF 2030's coils around everything's shielded as is pretty much the norm these days look so pretty well shielded the front panel it's all on ribbon cable as uh, we see so many times these days it all plugs in this, the main board Everything's on plugs. Microphone input circuit board. On the front there, roughly where my pointer is. That's where the uh, pads are for altering the, the configurations. Again, that's on CB tricks how to do that. So that's a quick look of the 
inside of the Magnum 1. Pretty decent speaker as well by the look of it. Thanks for watching the part 1 video and the preview of the Magnum 1. In my next video, which I hopefully will be filming in the next day or two, I'll be using the radio on air. Firstly on the amateur radio bands and uh, I will be receiving on the 11 meter band also to see what it's like on there, just reception only. Uh, to end the preview, uh, a few thoughts. Firstly, build quality, it's on par with anything else made in the last year or two, no, no problems really, circuit boards well made, no real negatives other than probably the hand mics, uh, a little bit lightweight for my liking, but other than that it's okay, but the proof will be in the pudding when uh, we use it on air and see how it works, especially on single sideband, so we'll catch you on the next one. Best 7-3 from Dave M0 OGY in North Lincolnshire. Bye bye.